Hello, everyone. Over the past few months, we've actually been working on the evolution prototype, and I'm really happy to start exploring the functionalities of it with the community and showing them exactly what we have in mind. This is still really early in the development of evolution, but even this early, we have some amazing functionality that's already been built in. And so we have a long ways to go, but anyone can actually start playing around with a prototype now and actually see what we have in mind. And so I think it's a pretty neat prototype so far, and it really shows exactly where we're going. So what types of functionalities do we have in mind? Well, the first thing is there's a registration process, then there's a validation of email. After you validate your email, you log into the system, then you can invite people, send um, payments by alias, along with sending transaction descriptions with those payments so that the person you're sending them to actually is on the same page with you and it shows up in their wallet as well. Then we even have a pay with dash button done. And so that actually facilitates the transaction start to finish through the dash network itself without any middlemen or any centralized companies involved. So let's go ahead and get started and see how all of this works. First, I'll go ahead and open the Electrum client. This is the Evolution Electrum client. We actually decided to take Electrum and just build on top of it because Electrum's SPV based and so that's compatible with our network already. And then it was really easy to build Evolution on top of this light client. So this is my user, this is Evan here. We'll need a second user to go ahead and get started. The second user is going to be named AOU. AOU is my test user. Then we're going to click sign up here. Now you can see that we've signed up the user and we actually should have an email in their account. So let's go ahead and go navigate over to AOU's email. Okay, so we do have an email and we can click this here. After we click the email, we can actually go ahead and click this link and this has a challenge code in it that was sent by the network to validate the email. All of this technology also is decentralized. This website is just using WebSockets in sending messages back and forth to the network. So it's really cool, it's pretty advanced, and we can actually build other technologies on top of this. Like for example, we can send messages to the network and then ask the network to send out messages to users, or we can send messages from one user to another user. And that's how all of this technology works. So now that we have a validated account, let's go ahead and log in with AOEU. Okay, so we're logged in now. And we should be able to go over here in the friends tab and see, you know, there are no friends currently. All you do is you just invite the friend and this is uh, currently a one-way friendship. So Evan is friends with AOEU, but AOEU is not friends with Evan. And so we'll have to go over here as well and type Evan. Now we have a two-way friendship and that means that they can actually send messages between themselves. If you right click the friend, you can actually request more addresses. It does it automatically, but you can actually ask for them so that you get them quicker as well. Now we should have some addresses already. Like you can see here, AOEU has five addresses in Evan's wallet. And Evan now has five addresses of AOEU. So let's go ahead and try to send a payment to Evan by alias.
and just for an example, let's say AOEU went out to dinner with Evan and Evan paid with it for with a credit card and now AOE wants to pay him back with some dash. Just choose a random amount of dash, click send. And now we just broadcast the transaction and we broadcast a message directly to Evan. And here you go. See, it says AOEU says this was for payback for dinner. So this is pretty easy to use and I think it makes the payments understandable. You'll never again forget what a payment was for. And that's pretty neat because cryptocurrency is pretty complicated and I think this simplifies it to a great extent. So we just showed pay to alias, the friending process. And now I wanna show how we do uh, payment requests or the pay with dash button. So all we do is we go over to dashevolution.com and there's a merchants page. So we have two examples of the pay with dash button in our ecosystem so far. There's an example that sends money to the dash foundation, which I'm going to use in a moment here. And then we also have node 40. Node 40 already implemented this payment request functionality into their invoice system. And so you can pay for your master nodes with the prototype currently if you wanted to. It is that easy to implement this into a website that they were able to do it in just a couple days. So let's go ahead and test this out. So you click, yes, I would like to donate. And this is actually the pay with dash button here. So I'll go ahead and click donate here. Now we just propagated a message through the network and you see it here, it's popped up payment request. Would you like to buy donation to the dash foundation for 0.33 dash? You click yes. Just enter your password, click okay. It signs the transaction and voila, we're done. Also, once this pops up, you'll see it says donation to the Dash Foundation. Like all of these payments that are entering your wallet can actually have descriptions now because the people you're doing business with or the websites that you're doing business with can actually propagate you exactly what it was for and you don't have to enter it. I think that's gonna be a really important feature in the ecosystem as well, just to make everything a lot more simplistic. So this is pretty much where we're at right now. And you can see, you know, two months of development and we've gotten a really far ways already. And so I'm super excited to see what we can do with this over, you know, the next few months. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have fun playing around with the prototype.